Hello everyone. I'm <clears throat> today going to take a look at my Roseanne blanket. If anybody's seen my short video, you'll see that I am constructing a recreation of the granny square blanket on the back of Roseanne's couch. I've wanted to make one of these forever, so I finally decided to just do it. <clears throat> what you really need is a bunch of scrap yarn. So what I did was I went through my stash I got out a whole bunch of yarn that I don't know what to do with, and I'm keeping it in this big tote bag right here. So what I do to make the squares, I just randomly pick a color out and make a square. <clears throat> Four rounds of color surrounded by one round of black. So I was just going through these color choices today, and I'm starting to run out. I've got a couple of these small ones. I'm starting to run out. And I've only got two variegated. And then I have this multicolor. So I got a lot of uh, browns, it seems like. So I'm going to be going to the yarn store today. I placed an order. I'm, I want to add in some blue, some purple, and some orange to this. I think I got one other color, like a mixed color, <clears throat> with blues and stuff. So as I'm running out of some of these, I'm going to replace. Now the pattern I'm using, not that I need a pattern, but this is kind of what I was looking at. This is from 1974. Okay, so that's how they made theirs. Now I don't really need the pattern, but it did have some useful information right here about sizing and how to put it together. It's even got a color chart, which I'm not really following, but if I need to, I will um, take a look at this to give me an idea to put it together. But I like the grid that they made, and they tell you that it will be 50 by 59 inches. Um, it also says that someone's cutting the grass. I hope you can't hear that. Um, one round is four and a half inches. My, my squares are turning out to be five and a half inches. So if I follow this grid, putting it together. Uh, mine's going to be slightly bigger than that, which is fine with me. Plus, I'm going to use up all these scraps. Another goal I had was to not buy any more yarn, use up what I have to get rid of the yarn that I have. Um, but yeah, I am going to buy some more today. But it's on sale, and it's cheap. So what I'm going to do right now is take the squares that I have and kind of lay them out on the bed, just to kind of give me an idea. Um, like how many more I'm going to have to make. I think this says I need 140, but since mine are bigger, I might need less. So anyway, let me just pick up all this yarn, and I'm going to take my squares and lay them out. All right, <clears throat> so this is 33 squares, well, with these two. Um, I got them laid out in rows of eight. And I didn't put them in any particular order. Some of them look a little more square than the others because I haven't blocked some of them. I have a blocking board right here, which you just place them on here. It stretches them out a little bit and makes them more a uniform size. So let's see, that's 8 times 4 plus the 1. Now just looking at it like this... <clears throat> I do see where I need to add some different colors. I'm repeating the same colors, just in different order. So I will be, like I said, adding some blues and purples to this as well. And I have enough black. So I'm going to say I need at least um, 60 more squares, which if I've, I've been trying to average 10 a day, between 8 and 10 a day. So it should take me about two weeks and then I have to sew it all together so it's not too bad I mean it's bad looking it's hideous think about it all these colors mashed together like this but that's the whole point of it it's a hideous hideous blanket and I can't wait till it's done <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna head to the yarn store and maybe I'll take you with me on that trip it's just a pickup order I might go inside and look around I'm not sure. I, I'm not trying to spend all kind of money today.
the um I'm going to the yarn store, okay? I'll be back in a little bit.
Okay, I'm done shopping. Let me show you what I got. Uh, for my pickup order, I went ahead and uh, browsed in the store too. I got video of that. They had their Halloween stuff out. They had some yarn on sale, but it was um, right at the front of the store. It was like that plush blanket yarn. I'm sitting in a shady spot right now. It's pretty nice today. It's like 70 degrees. It's hot though in the sun. So I went ahead and picked up some red. I realized that that hideous blanket doesn't have nearly enough red. And then I have, these were a good deal too, $2.99. I have some orange. That will not blend nicely. I have some purple. Love that. Some Cerulean Blue, Curly, C-E-R-U-L-E-A-N, whatever. It's blue. Looks kind of lavender. And then this mixed, this mixed color. All kinds of different things. This is called Unicorn Magic. That's perfect. <laughs> Unicorn Magic, I love it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go home and piece this video together and make lunch and start making more squares. So I hope everybody has a good day. And thanks for watching. I gotta go. Hey, what are you guys sleeping for? It's a beautiful day. Get up. We're gonna eat lunch. Come on, get up. Both of you. You hear me? You ready to eat?